We welcome you to another Lextra LMS video tutorial. In this video I will be showing you on how to work with Glossary. Before we proceed, let me show you the usefulness of Glossary in Lextra LMS. Glossary is used in Lextra LMS to add terms and definition to a word in order to enhance the student's understanding. Knowing fully well the usefulness of Glossary, Let's go into the tutorial proper. We start by logging in as a teacher. On our dashboard environment, we locate the lesson or the course name we are trying to add glossary into by clicking on my courses icon. In this video I'm using production of animal food as a case study. Click on the lesson name. Always check the content to know which words to add definition into. We can do that by clicking on the content icon. These are the content in production of animal food. In this video I'm adding definition to the word livestock. Ruminants and malnourished. The spelling used in the content must be in accordance to the spelling to be used in the glossary. After identifying the words to be used, we go back and click on glossary icon. We input the term which is livestock. And then we input the definition for the word. After doing that, we then click on submit and add another. We erase the old word and input another word, which is ruminants. We add the definition. After doing that, we then click on submit and add another. And the last one which is malnourished, we follow the same process. After that we click on submit term, since we are not adding more words. Let's go back to check. We go back and click on the content icon. You can see the dotted line under each words. You drag your mouse pointer under each word to see the definition. That's the simple process on how to add glossary to a word. 